As a viewer, I enjoy going to a movie theater and watching movies with people on the big screen. As a filmmaker, I enjoy when that can happen with my work, but it's not at all essential to how yeah. people experience my yeah. stuff. I'm happy with television, I'm happy with the web. Good for you, Absolutely. good for you. This is a business. You're gonna eventually have to create a sustainable living from what you're doing. And it sounds like you are. You're looking at your starting model. To, you're starting yeah. to. Well, that's great. I'm going to be doing that too. I'm going to re I really want to create ways that independent filmmakers can make a living from independent film. It's like somebody's trying to create this model that will work for every single filmmaker out there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I hate to tell you that doesn't work in the real world. Every yeah. film is going to have a different trajectory. No, no, I'm getting at more that like when you were in school, 5% of the kids were outstanding and the rest were good. But it's still always going to boil down to what's great. Mm -hmm. If it's great, it's got a potential to make a lot of money. If yeah. it's not great, it's not going to make a lot of money. But it might make some. It Just might make know. some. It, yeah. it, that's fine. That's fine. But there will be no business model. This business model, everybody keeps saying, what's the business model? What's the business model? Mm -hmm. The business model is changing every three months. So the model is figure out a new model. The secondary point is concentrate on making something great because it doesn't matter what model we have. If it's not great. Yeah, well I think that it's the inverse. Make something great, then concentrate on the business model. Uh, well. It's true, if you don't make something that holds up, it's not worth marketing, so why would you spend all your time and energy exactly. trying to get people to watch it? Mm -hmm. Well, and it's gotta be unique. See, you kinda all simultaneously made something that's unique and different, caught my eye. Mm -hmm. As a marketing person, it caught my eye. Yeah. Now what we gotta do is we gotta figure out how to make this blank core, whatever you're gonna call it, and, 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 and challenge Hollywood at their own game. It's strictly a business. They don't care about you telling your story or your story or your dreams or any of that shit. They only care about one thing, money. Just like every other business. Hmm. We need to start talking about money. There's nothing, no we. sin in it. This but do we? terrible. Yeah, I don't yeah, wanna have that discussion. Why? <laughs> Why? What's so bad about, I mean, you guys have this really cool product. What is wrong with making money about, with it? It's not a sin. No, I'm, I would be happy if we were making a lot of money for it. But I don't like, I mean, the idea of talking about Changing money instead of talking about what, you know, what we love. We just had a 40 minute discussion about what we love. Now we're talking about money. <laughs> okay, I'm fine. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, I am interested in figuring out how to make things that, I mean, I feel like, I love LOL. Like, I still have yet to see, like, some of your other films, but, like, I love what you make. Thanks. And I do, I do agree that <laughs> I there, do too. there should be no reason why it shouldn't do well. Because I think a lot of people watch what you do. I mean, like, Pace wouldn't have put you on the cover if you weren't making stuff that people wanted to hear about. Let's wait and see that. <laughs> Let's see. Well, I think you're, you're doing the same thing, and so are you yeah, with your, like, your show. And I think yeah. your film, like, just on the little bit that I've seen of it, like, I liked what I saw so far. My roommate Jay is really into seeing art films and like things that are really beautiful and like evolve and like I know that he would love it and I know that there's like a lot of people out there that all love that stuff and I feel like the only thing that's separating us from truly being successful enough to like I mean not live extravagantly but live you know mm -hmm. off of what we do is the system that's already in place <laughs> but the system that's in place right now is so weak and crumbling well and what is the system I mean just the Hollywood system I think is what's in place right now even though the Hollywood infrastructure is crumbling there still is this kind of thing of like oh what movies out like I go to the movies every weekend because I just I want to be in a theater like I think it's fun it's like right. a date okay but I hate to tell you the Hollywood system's not crumbling they're not crumbling they are making a living actually they had a pretty good year this year you know I mean they're freaking out even if they're making okay amounts of money I don't think they're freaking out okay I, I mean whatever that's just my opinion I feel like every time I hear an article it's sort of like the, you know, I think oh, we're freaking out. Films aren't making money, blah, blah, blah. And it's like... No, we're freaking out. You think we are? Yeah, they have their model. They, they, they make a film. Out. Okay, you're not freaking out. <laughs> I'm all right. The, the independent film community is freaking out. The community that's, that's really, truly freaking out is the community you talked about that is studio movies disguised as indies. You don't think so the micro they, community's all, freaking out? No, I think the micro community They're in the same is, spot they've always been in. Yeah. Has never been able to find money for their movies. Oh, okay. So it's, it's, it's that mid-level, sort of like yeah. $2 million, some famous people in it yeah, kind right, of movies. Right. Those movies are being destroyed right yeah. now. Yeah, no, all of those- Huge Hollywood movies are succeeding. Right. Tiny, tiny movies right. are- The million and up. It's, it's right. the middle zone that's yeah. like, like the floor has dropped out and all those companies that used to exist to make those movies, yeah, I know. the specialty divisions of the studios, yeah. they're all going out of business. Yeah. Yeah.
again, it was newsworthy to say it was an independent right. picture. It's not so newsworthy anymore. Exactly. Now they're going for marketing. Uh, I had a friend that worked at Disney, and he said, this is our motto. We make something and people respond to it, we churn 10 more out exactly like it. Right. That ain't art, that's just, sure. it's a business, you know. That's how it works. Yeah, but, but also the, keep in mind, it's, it's artists a, that are churning those 10 out who all care about the project they're working I on. I know they do. So at the top, it's a business. At the bottom, it's an art. And believe me, there's a lot of arguing somewhere. going up along there. I agree. It's also a gamble because it's like they turn 10 more out and like nine of them flop. The, Hollywood is, is, a, is a hedging your bet game. They mm -hmm. produce X amount of content. They know that some of it's going to fail. They right. live on what succeeds. The developmental costs of these television shows is high. You know, they throw it up there two, three, four times. If people don't respond, you're out of there. Yeah. What Hollywood would, would love from the independent film community or the micro film community, is we could develop shows that, at a low cost, build an audience on the internet, and then they'll say, oh, wow, okay, this is a concept that people are responding to, kind of like this quarter life, but yeah. my personal belief is it didn't have the realism that your work has. It was Hollywood's interpretation yeah. of your projects, and they, they failed that. What frustrates me is that they're doing the, well, we'll make 10 of those. It's like they're kind of pissing their money away by doing it wrong. I'm, say, I'm like, fine, make 10 films that were sort of like this one film, but do it right. Like, make 10 films that are actually interesting, and the one that happens to speak to a larger group of people, great. But instead of making what we do wrong, that's what's insulting. It was trying to do what we talked about earlier, speak to a particular generation. I mean, he right. made 30-something, this is 20-something. Next, I guess, will be 13-something. Right. Made by 13-year-olds. That's exactly right. That's right. what would need to have yeah, to be yeah. done.